What is going on everybody? This is TGA and today we're in Oxfordshire. We're walking down to the Callum Science Centre and this is owned by the UK Atomic Energy Authority and it houses the headquarters of the Civil Nuclear Constabulary. So this place, they've done a lot of different tests on new equipment including um, driverless vehicles and the robots which uh, do deliveries around Milton Keynes, Northampton, places like that. A lot of them new technologies have been tested out of this site. Plus I think they got a nuclear fusion reactor and stuff like that in here as well. So we're going to have a little look today. We're going to get the drone up and see what we can see if the uh, wind doesn't let us down. So uh, yes guys. As you can see Callum Science Centre, we're just going to quickly change the battery because it's running a bit low and we'll be back in a sec guys. Freshly charged battery and we've got a public footpath all the way up here. So we're going to follow the public footpath guys. See where this takes us. The reception. So something to the public. Is this open to the public? Can the public come in here? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Just thought I'd let, I'd let you know. I'm going to be taking a drone over in a minute. Okay. Just, just so you're not concerned. Just speak to security men out here and let them know. Okay. I just don't want anyone to be concerned. That's all about why I'm. Okay, no problem. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. Hello, my friend. You're walking in the road. Yeah, I know, mate. I just spoke to reception. And they said to speak to you. Yeah, but come over the pavement. There's a pavement. Oh, here. there's a pavement this side. Yeah. Is it? All right, yeah, yeah. I'm no worries. Why are you walking in the road? All right. So uh, basically, yeah. um, spoke to reception. Mm -hmm. I just to, just to let you just to let you know, I will be taking a drone over in a minute. Okay. I just, just to make, just so there's no concerns of... Oh, right, was that all agreed? Of, of right, you seeing a drone. Oh, no, there's just, I know there's no flight restrictions over this area, so I'm just going to take the drone over. So how far is he taking over? Because if it's coming over on site, there is restrictions on it. On the airspace? Yeah, over, over on, on our site there is. Because yeah. I've looked on the CAA's website, mm -hmm. as long as it's not in a flight restriction zone, yeah. or and it's not a military establishment no, and you, or an airport, no, you can we, fly it over. We get notifications to say when there's a drone flying over our, our space. Is that like policy though? Yes. Yeah, policy doesn't really trump law though, does it? So. No, because there is a lot of, it would be worth checking. Because I've seen a video online of a drone going over this, somebody taking a drone over before, well, so. Let me, let me find out because from what I know, we get notifications when there's a drone flying over our site. Okay, that's why, I, that's why I thought I'd let you know, just yeah, so no, no, I'm you're glad not worried, you did. so. Uh, even helicopters are not allowed to fly yeah. over, are they? No. Is it? Because there's no. I've, I've checked on the CAA. There's no. There's no flight restrictions over this. Well, there's, there's supposed to be. There's no geofence. So. Um, I think because of the large electric pulses, the EMF. Right. And, uh, doing their experiments. Yeah. Blasts up a lot of. It's just there's no there's no uh, geofence around the area. A lot of like airports and things like that and RAF bases things. Yeah. They've got a geofence around there. So you can't fly within the geofence. The prisons have got the same thing. They've got a geofence around the prison. It's not a military site. It's a, it's a government site. There's no, but they're, they're, as far as I'm aware, there's no restrictions on flying a drone over a government site. So. Um, yeah. They, they haven't specified what, quick one. which oh, actual rule and point of law it is. Drone but it's just over generally our site. It's hmm. signposted. Fine. Uh, yeah. fence, and on one of the signs, it should so, probably stipulate what the. He said he's checked. There's not there usually. Is, there, that's what I'm saying to him. There is a restriction. There's sorry, no. There's, I'm just a member of the public. Just, he's just, just a making a of the social media. Yeah. See. There is a restriction on here. I mean, is it law though? Because if it's not law, then I can still, I can still do it. Really, if there's Are no law prohibiting it. If it's not law, you can still do it. If there's, if there's no bylaw or, or law or anything he's like that. He's asking if it's law that he's proven to fly over our site. If there's no law, then I'm, st I'm still going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just. No, no, no. That's a... I mean, 
ever since I've worked here, they've said even helicopters can't fly yeah. over. And I, I was guessing it's for safety from the electric pulses that they... Yeah, obviously, if, if there was any problems with my signal, I, I'm quite a competent pilot. If there's any problem with my signal no, or anything like that, that I'd bring it, what's bring it back. Sites? It is a police matter. It is a, how is it a police matter, though? Because it's a private site, secure private site. Yeah, but it's not... It's not SOCAP. I've, I've, lo I've looked. It's not SOCAP. Are you saying it's not SOCAP? I know, I know what the SOCAP sites are. I've looked. SOCAP. How, Harwell is down the road, but this isn't. He's saying Harwell is and not, not Column. Well, yeah, but we, we want the actual point of where the state states. It's a sign somewhere, isn't it? Okay. Who do we ring in the police? No, so who do we contact? Just the normal 911 if he does it. Sorry? Okay, yeah, all right. All right, I'll let him know. Yeah, if you sorry. Could, if you could tell me that there's a law, what law prevents me from doing it, then I, I won't do it. But if there's no law to prevent me from doing it, I won't, I, I'll do it. All I know is the government, they have to have permission for them to fly over, even when we have. I've, it's less than, I've got a less than 250 gram drone. It's, it's it like a light, lightweight it's, drone. It's not so. so much the drone itself, it's what's on site. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, unless there's a law prohibiting it or it's a flight or it's got a geofence around the site, then I can fly, I can take a drone over the site. I've just got manager on the phone here. Okay. And he's saying to me that if you do fly a drone over here, then the police will be called. Okay. So there must be a law against it. Obviously, they need to know what kind of drone it is, uh, what weight class, because class C0, if, if it's think, higher than class C0, it's got to do higher with the than 250 itself, gram, it? if it's 250 gram or above, then you can't fly within a certain distance of buildings or anything like that. But if it's a less than 250 gram drone, you can fly it closer to buildings, people, or anything like that. Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on a sec. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He does need permission. If you need, if you want to fly over, you'd have to contact someone from the security side. I mean, how, is that really a law? Is there a law though that prevents that? Well, or, that's what I'm trying to ask. I'm trying to ascertain. Well, if, if we have to any... call the police, then it's got to be law. Well, then I'll speak to them then because they'll clearly know. Yeah, that's well, the, that's I mean, if you want to speak to, there's a person named Nigel Forks. Nigel Forks. Yeah. About flying a drone. Is he a well. police drone operator? Or? No, he's part, he's as part of the security here on. The right, I'd, I'd rather, I think law enforcement will have more well, more if, knowledge yeah, of that. Well, you can talk law so. enforcement because at the end of the day, like I said, if you so. did fly, we would we'd be calling the police. The on-site police or? No. Not the on-site police. No. Because they, they'd obviously, I'd imagine they'd have a so knowledge mate. of that as well. Oh, lovely. I don't huh? see you, sir. <laughs> Say that again. Yeah. Look, mate, I'm not going to take off and land on the premises. I'm going to go out yeah. outside of the that, premises. Yeah. So I'm not going to take off and land from the premises. I'll just go outside and I'll fly it up. Well, so. like I said, if I see a drone coming over here, I'd have to call the police. That's fine. You can get the on-site police. If you don't if you want, want to go through so. the proper channel, that's fine then. But I'll have to call the police. That's fine. I'm, I, they'll know. That's what I'm saying. They'll know. They'll know the legislation on it. They should do anyway. There should be a police drone operator who would know the legislation on that. So. It's up to you. I'm giving you a name of a person you can contact, but if you don't want to do that. I mean, sorry, man. If there's no law preventing me from doing it, then I'm not. But there is. That's all. What is it you're trying to gain by flying over the side? I just want to get a nice view and get some aerial shots, that's all. He's just trying to get a nice aerial view shot. Well, actually, if you don't want me to go right over, then I'll just fly up and look down, but. I'm well, trying that's to, what, that's what I'm trying, trying to say. He doesn't, he's not interested in going through the correct route. As far as he's concerned, he can fly it with his eye. I've got a zoom feature, so I don't actually need to fly over. I can just look and zoom in anyway. So well, I'm trying to start to create a middle ground here. Yeah. So well, I'm not going to say I'm not going to fly it over, like I said, but I'll fly I'm it and look to you over. The, the correct way of doing it, but so, you, you, it's like you don't want to take it. I don't. I don't need to. I'm, I'm saying I, I'm trying to give you a middle ground and say I'm not going to fly it right over. I'll just look up, look up, back up and over. Yeah, That's but it. I'm trying to say to you that if it comes on site, I would have to report it. That's fine. But you're asking me the correct way of doing it, and I'm trying to give you the. That's correct fine. Way. I, I, obviously, I'll take that on board. But I'm just saying that 
if there's no legislation preventing me, like a prison has a, as I mentioned, a prison has a geofence, so you can't fly into the geofence, oh, yeah. then it becomes a criminal offence. But if there's no geofence, the CAA creates these geofences. If, so if, say a government body will contact the, say for like a nuclear power station, a lot of nuclear power stations, not all of them, but a lot of nuclear power stations have got a big geofence going around it, and it's a big red zone, you can't fly into the red zone, and it's all displayed on the, on the map, it's all displayed on the CAA maps. So the CAA have got these flight restriction zones, FRZs, which are restricted areas which you can't fly a drone into. There's no geofence around this area. So I'd let you know, my friend. It's been good. I appreciate your advice, but you know, that's, that's, that's just, I'm just giving you what, I'm just telling you what I know, what the legislation on it, and okay. I'm giving you a bit of information as well. Well, can I take your name and address then? Uh, no, I don't, I don't give any details, sorry, my friend. Really? I don't know, it's, sorry, Will's my friend. Yeah, it's my, it's my, it's my, it's my, it's my uh, personal data at the end of the day, so. And this is a private site. Okay, I'm not going to say on the site, I just literally came to talk to you, that's all. So, I literally came, because I asked reception, I literally came to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just telling you the, the correct way of doing it. Yeah, that's fine, my friend. I, I understand your, your advice, but I don't have to take it, do I, end of no, the day, no. so. I mean, you, you, yeah, you, you could choose to give it to me, but I don't have to take it. I'm, no. not, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just like, just saying. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll do that. Yeah, I know. That's what I said to her. I've just tried to be courteous by speaking to you, that's all. Yeah, I appreciate that. But like I said, if you're committing an offence, yeah, I, I know when it is, though. That's when there's a geofence. There's no geofence. I just thought I'd let you know just to put your mind at ease, really. <laughs> that's all. Just saying this for social media. That's all. That's right. No, no nefarious intent. That's all. Okay? No, no. Okay, my friend? Okay. You have a good day. Enjoy the sunshine. So uh, yeah, we're going to head off because apparently this is on site, despite there being a public footpath leading straight to this. So as you can see, there's a different look of the signs on here. So the footpath. Did you want to speak to me? Through my phone and screen recording. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So uh, up it goes. You see, there's the site there. Massive reactor or something there. Take a photo of that. You can see, guys, there's the site. It's quite a lot on there, look. Send it out. See the whole side of it. Bringing it down. So the wind started picking up now, guys. Can I help? Can I help? Huh? How can I help? I thought you wanted our help. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't touch it. I'm 
You've been away now, have you? Yes. Right. It got a bit windy up there. Yeah. I, d I don't want to get distracted when I'm flying it. Because, you know, it could be if someone's distracting a pilot, it could Can be, could the, be an offence as well. I'm not required to provide it. Eh? I'm not required to provide it. <laughs> I'm just asking you for a favour, that's all. No, no, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you... Huh? I mean, there is information you can get from that. That's the thing, well, it's about the police can anyway, so... But I'm not sure why you'd want to... Oh, I'm not because... Oh, I can get some, I got some good shots up there. Some what? Got some decent shots up there. Of what? Of the, of the site. You just go on the website, you'll get the same photograph. Yeah, but I just I just wanted to visit it myself. Get some get some aerial views. That's all. Yeah. There's no uh, it's a lawful thing to do, so. No, it's not though, is it? It is though. It's just been explained to you. I don't get how you mean it's I don't get how, why you think it's not lawful. I don't know why you think it's a good idea. Because it's a lawful thing to do. It's a less than 250 grams can, drone. Doesn't mean you should. Well, it does. I don't see what the issue is, to be honest. I know, but if someone says it's better off that you don't do it, it's quite argumentative of me to go ahead with it and say, yeah, I will. It's not really. I, I, let, I let them know how to... I let you know out of courtesy, really. That was why I did it. Because I didn't want you there to be concern no. over it happening. And they said no. <laughs> yeah, but they... I know the legislation on it, right? that's the Ooh. thing, yes. And I know there's no geofence or flight restriction zone around this area, which means I can fly it. Yeah, but why would you? I just suppose that's what all I don't understand. Because I want to. <laughs> What's the problem with me doing it? Are you the sort of person that sort of sits in the middle of the road as well? Oh, no, I don't do that. I don't do that, my friend. I don't want to obstruct uh, traffic or anything. Why wouldn't you obstruct traffic? Is that your... Did you just take a photo of me? I don't have to answer any questions. No, you do, because no, you're a data handler now. Yeah? You're, a, you're part of an organisation. You got, you got me. That's, I can request a copy of that, so I need to know whether, whether you have... You can request a copy. And you, so you, I can see you're part of Securitas, so I can request through Securitas for a copy of, for a copy of that image. Okay. Yeah, see, so you know. Yeah. You know, that's why you need to tell me if you've got any any information, of, any photos of me, so I can request a copy under, the, under GDPR regulation. You're quite welcome to do that. Excellent. Well, I just, I just well, get your S, just your SI number, well, just you so. Give me the number off your, off your machine, and I'll give you my number. Yeah, but you're you're part of an organisation. I'm not. Well, you might be. That's the difference. Yeah. You, I don't know if you're a private um, citizen. Or you might be a Russian spy. I, I'm a private citizen. You I, might be I assure a you. Spy. I'm not a Russian spy. I can assure you that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's yeah. obvious, isn't it? Give me some ID and then I can show I don't, I don't need to show you any ID. Why would, I, I mean, why would I show ID to a security guard anyway? The only security... Because, you, because you're on the, the site that belongs this, to the government. This, is, this isn't your site. This is. Uh, look, at this, look at this notice here. It's the South Gloucestershire Council on uh, South Oxfordshire Council on that. That says, South, that says South Oxfordshire Council on that, on that sign there, on that, on that planning notice. Planning notice is for the council, which means where I'm stood now is council property. It's public property. So. Yeah, the yes, go ahead. South Oxfordshire Council, just saying. South Oxfordshire Council planning notices. Yeah, he's packed it away in his bag, but he's still ho hovering. That's a, quite a good joke, right? Yeah, that works with a with a drill. So, what do you intend to do with the footage that you've collected? I mean, I might put it on social media. So. Anyway, so imagine you were a Russian spy and wanted to share the information about a government site. I mean, what are they getting, really? If I'm just, huh? if I've just got a drone on this, just looking up and down here and just recording with my camera, what information are they getting? Well, we, we don't from, know. From, from social media. We don't know what you So nothing. So what do you intend to do now? Are you staying here? Or I'm just going to hang about for a bit.
There's nothing. There's no, just to let you know, there's nothing personal on there. There's nothing personal on the SAA licenses anywhere. So. Well, I know it's not personal, but you know. Yeah. You might be right to a certain extent about your rights, but also we've got a job to do to protect the government site in case Russian spies come, for example. How do we know you're not? So we've got to go through the motions of treating the right one. Because because I've said that I'm <laughs> for social media, so. I mean, I, I can't just take your words exactly. for things when you're... That's exactly what a Russian spy would say. So, if you're going to take... If you're not going to take my word for things, I'm not going to take your word for anything. So, I, I can't trust that, you if you're not going to trust me. Day, we'll have to let the police deal with it. Yeah, that's fine. Just to let you know, that with the police, uh, they, there's been a memo circulating around the police about people recording for social social media, so... I, I'm not saying, saying you're wrong, but we've just got to go through the, each procedure. If the police turn up and say, yeah, he's well within his rights, we'll lead you to it. If, if it puts you at ease, and because you're not wearing body cameras, there's my face. All right. I, I wouldn't recognise you in the crowd. No. You've got the perfect face for a Russian spy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look, I look Russian, <laughs> do I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean that, because the, the people who are the, make the best spies don't look like spies. So. That's true. That's true. Well, yeah, like I say, it's not personal, but we've got to go through the correct That's procedures fine. to establish your motives, let's say. That's fine. Don't you have police on site anyway? Can you just get them to speak to me? Uh, um, it's a training centre. It's They're still, still, still officers, aren't they? Still police officers. But any information you need about this place, you can get it off the website. So, you've got a website, have you? Yeah. Oh yeah, callum.org.uk, we'll see it now. Let's have a look. Now, I know there's a few, like, there's experimental projects that have taken place on this site. I, I saw this um, sort of online, I saw like a driverless car or something like that that was being, oh, what, sorry? sort of driverless passenger vehicle that yes, was being yeah, tested yeah, on the yeah, site, so. There's a few um, private companies on here that do hmm. robotics, artificial intelligence. Oh, wow, like the, the proper sort of humanoid robots, or, or is it just like machines for manufacturing? Or? Honest, I don't know how they do it. No, it's, um, it's interesting I'm now. Little, I'm not, I'm not before, it's just a, a burn easily in the shape. Oh yeah, just, that's fine, standing in the shape. It's better for my camera anyway, it gets, gets a better angle on you. <laughs> but no, I understand you just doing your job, I, I'm just, yeah, I just know what really I'm... Are. It's, um, because it's a government site, and because of the situation with Russia, let's say, yeah, we have to be uh, more sensitive than normal and just check what's going on. Check people, that, especially taking photographs of a government site, you can appreciate it's always going to cause concern. Yeah, to be fair though, the, any government organisation has seems to have the same reaction, whether that's a Department of Work and Pensions yeah, as well, not, Job Centre. So. Well, it's just, it's just a standard response to. Well, I don't know what Russian spy would be interested in. I mean, this site I can understand, but somewhere like a job centre, I don't, I don't see what they're uh, interested in that would be, but still. Because there's, there's all sorts of experiments and stuff going on here, so I know what you mean, but... Yeah, yeah it's not just, not just the government side, but I guess it's, you know, the private companies, what we call it, industrial espionage. Hmm. So that's another thing we have to guard against. Yeah, part of our part of Britain's cr critical industry, as they say, really. Part of Britain's critical infrastructure, could you say so? Well, certain parts of this are, yeah. Yeah. Not, not the whole site. Some of it's private. Uh, well, it's a government site, but some private companies. Well, rent. UK AEA. Yeah. So yeah. But it's all it's all really it's all regarding like technology and. Atomic science and stuff yeah, like so that, really. Yeah, it's mostly all based around science and technology. Yeah. Hmm. But, um, you know, the, the general security state of the UK is heightened now anyway because of the war with Russia. Like that, so. I, thought the, uh, I thought the alert level had actually gone down no. recently. I thought they'd actually reduced it. Like last, was it last month? Oh, I heard it went, I heard it was reduced last month. Yeah. I didn't think it had been the increased. Situation is fluid. Yeah, I don't know, it's, I, I know we're an ever-changing world, but that's the thing. 
I don't think there's, personally, I don't think there's much harm I could do with this, but... I mean, if you were a spy, that's what you'd say. No, <laughs> come on, man. Everyone takes photos everywhere. Look at the amount of people who are around Buckingham Palace taking photos every single minute of every day. Yeah, well, they would be heavily watched. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't see a difference to the hundreds of thousands of people every day taking photos of Buckingham Palace and Downing Street. No, no, but if you, for than... example, broke into Buckingham Palace and then started flying the drone, Oh yeah, well, they pounce all over you, wouldn't they? So. I mean, you can't anyway. It's part of a flight restriction zone called the specified area, and that's the thing. If you want to, if you want to protect the site from drones, go through the CAA and get a geofence put around the site. Yeah. I, so after speaking to you earlier, I went, quickly went online to try and find out about that, and even on the website it says this is continually being updated. Hmm the um, regulation so I guess they've got a list of sites I couldn't open the list unfortunately and that's why that's why I don't understand other sites that are administered by the UK AEA have put flight restriction zones Hinkley Point's got about a five mile flight restriction zone going around it yeah. but on this site there's no there's no flight restriction I, I really don't know it's always been hmm. sort of stipulated to us that you know, helicopters aren't allowed to fly over no drones I guess the people within the company believe that they're part of that no-fly zone. Well, they should, should be really, if you might, want to protect it. It might be that they are, but the, the website list hasn't been updated. If, if, you, if you look at it, it's, it's saying this has constantly been updated, and I think the, the first one I pulled up was about the 2019 version. That's the thing, it, it needs to be really squared with the CAA to get yeah. a geofence put around the site, to be honest. If, if you don't want if you don't want drones going over, if you think it might be a risk, then there should be a geofence placed around the site. That's why I mean the very, like places like prisons and everything like that, they're government sites. Yeah. They've got all prisons have got flight restrictions yeah, going around the prison. For obvious reasons, because people drop drugs into the prisons, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a risk it's a risk to obviously they're going to be not just drugs, mobile phones, anything that is prohibited from going yeah, into a prison. So. Whereas, whereas uh, same with nuclear sites, a lot of nuclear sites have got a flight restriction zone. This being atomic energy, no flight restriction zone, which puzzles me really. So, as I, I've obviously, I, I visited Hinkley Point, I checked with them. They had no issue with me filming, but they obviously what I wasn't allowed to do was fly a drone, because yeah, it's, yeah. it's not allowed. But, yeah. I, th I think it's just a, it's a similar situation to that. And just perhaps the list hasn't been updated, I don't know why. I, I, I'm pretty sure if, if that was the case, the CAA would have put that on there. Yeah. So, Because I've got flight restrictions zones with the CAA, I've got an app which shows me all the... Just be okay. Oh yeah. That's... Even though you've got to keep off our lap. Oh, I'm fine. Come away from the road. I'm fine, I'm not on the, I'm not on the road. <laughs> I won't just get away from the road. I'll be alright. I'm fine, mate. Right? I'm fine. interesting case in point and you have to get get to the bottom of it by what is the legislation and you know why the website hasn't been updated yeah my other my other confusion is why this site's not covered by uh, socap either Sorry, yeah. uh, why this site's not covered by the serious organized crime and police act because um how well down the road it's a socap designated site and you can't trespass on it if you've been asked to leave, you must leave, or it's a criminal yeah, offence. I think it's, so. we're slightly different here because this is not nuclear. So yeah. for Harwell's nuclear. And I think if the nuclear material falls into the wrong hands, it's yeah. a much more, of course, it's yeah. a much bigger deal than the, the place we've got. Yeah, yeah, so it's less of a concern. That's fine, yeah. Back on it. So if there's not 
if there's not nuclear material on this site, then I wouldn't say it's that much, as much of a concern, really. What, if there's not nuclear material on this site, I wouldn't say it's as much of a concern, really. As, a, say, a nuclear power station. Good question. I know it's got to be um, government secrets and things like that, but I, well, you can't see any of them from yeah. from the air well, anyway. Like I say, you? everything we discussed is on the, on the website. So it's, it's, um... What if, um, say, a plane's flying over here, right? Somebody's got a somebody's got their camera on the plane. There's really good zoom lens. They're looking right down on your side from the plane, from the passenger plane. Only a limit to what we can do. I think the guys department that might report it. Not from a from a plane. You know, even the, the military helicopters from the local base go around. Hmm. Um, well, all I know is all I know is what the CAAs what the CAAs have stated yeah, yeah. And, and what their drone regulations are and the regulation on filming from a public or a publicly accessible place. I had no intention of physically going on, going up past the gates or anything like that, so I, I wasn't going to breach, breach anything or literally film what, I can, film what I can see from a public space. It's my intention. Well, you picked a nice day for it. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's a sunny day, isn't it? Lovely sunny day. I think um, this drone industry, I always like to think it's a good joke here for the, for the camera. I think it's going to take off. Yeah. Did you get it? Here? See what you did there? But, um, yeah, I can see a lot of uses for drones. Hmm. I know the police are using drones now as well, which helps in solving crime. A lot of different industries uh, have picked up. A lot of different industries, government bodies have picked up on the use of drones now for, for purposes, for research, for, for combating crime, things like that. So it, it is useful. It, and it, obviously, the, the cost of a drone is a lot cheaper than a helicopter. So if you're, search, if you're doing search and rescue with a helicopter, um, that's going to cost thousands just to take off. For, for a drone, it, it's nothing. You're not, you just got to charge it up. How long does it last? Uh, that's about half, at least half an hour battery on that one. For, for that drone. But are you a local guy? I mean, how, how did you come to be here on this day? Are you doing a tour of all the government sites? Or? I'm just in the area today, so I just thought I'd, I'd come and have a look. <laughs> so why not, go, why not come to Oxfordshire today? So I just thought I would I'd have a look. Been around by Didcot, that's quite a nice town. You've got a lot of, in, a lot of railway industry down there, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite interesting. I'll be honest, I hope you forgive me. When I first saw you, I thought you were looking for the train track there, because just, just over that way there, the train to Didcot, and every, t every now and again they'll have that famous steam train. Ah, the, yeah, yeah. A lot of photographers there. I thought Another you were one. looking for that, so as soon as you said Geo, it lost me. That's a helicopter just going over the side of it. That's one of ours. It's one of yours? Uh, Do you know you had any helicopters? Oh, look. This one's just going over. He's taking a photo. Have you 
walk from the train station or? Yeah, down by the station, yeah. The other nice option track. is, yeah, this might be of interest to you. Every now and again they have an open evening. So if you go right. on the website and you can book a visit, mm -hmm. then you'll get shown around the facilities. Oh, so you do have tours then? Yeah? You do have tours of the site then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, you'll see the, the main machine and you'll see the robot um, departments. So that's awesome. That's probably the best way for you to go forward. But hmm. Well, it is interesting, what, like the sort of it is, it's, yeah, it's technological experiments. It's worth a visit. Well, like, especially with robotics, sort of technology, yeah, yeah. sciences, it's interesting. That's what I do. That's why I do what I do. So I, with social media, so I can have a chat with people like yourself, get get a bit of information, and oh, give nice something see, interest with the just with the viewers. All done that's all, so. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you've been all right. You've been fine, mate. Oh, look at that. It's quite interesting. A fair bit going on. Um, should have the, I think the nuclear police are on site. I said it's more of a training centre. So, I don't know, we're going to stay here in public. So see where they sat. So I didn't notice this, because there's a footpath down there. There's a public footpath down there, coming off the main footpath. And you've got that sign saying UK Atomic Energy Authority, private road. But where, where I was, where there was a footpath, there was no sign to say private road. So that, that, give, that give me an, gave me an implied right of access. So that would imply the fact that this year, that that's for vehicles coming into the site. So you can't bring a vehicle in here unless you've got a reason, to, unless you've got an appointment to be on site or they've got an open day or something. So that, uh, that column. So I think we need to change the battery again, guys, because we've been recording for 41 minutes now. 41 minutes of video. Uh, so we're going to pause the recording and we're going to pick it back up once we've changed the battery, guys. Are one of the buses coming through here? The Thames buses? Thames Travel? It's coming in. It's good. It's good you guys driving the bus. <laughs> Keeping in the shade. Probably the best idea. Don't want to burn. I was under the impression that the, there is a unit based on site, though. There's a what, sorry? Uh, the, the civil nuclear constabulary are based on site. The, the, the civ line. civil civil nuclear constabulary are based on site. Yes. I thought they would have been called out. Yeah. No, well, they still might. They still might. And they're only, they're only there, aren't they? Yeah. They're only on site. They saw me with my tripod up there at, uh, they saw me with my tripod out up at Tinkley Point and they were there, they were there within, yeah, yeah. within a couple of minutes, to be honest. It was PC, PC Johnson it was down there. Uh, Has he got a uh, grey beard? Yeah, that's him. That's him. He's got a, a, a patchy grey, a bit of a greyish beard. He's got a bit He's of grey in his beard. Three-legged dog. I, I didn't see a three-legged dog. No. <laughs> no, I don't know either. No, no. Uh, he's um, he's got a beard. He's got a beard though. I, I, I know he's got a beard. I've, no, I've, I've noticed on the news recently, see, you know, throughout the COVID pandemic and stuff. Yeah. Every time you see the Met Police um, reacting to a situation down in London, all the police seem to have beards. Yeah, you know, no, I've, just... I've noticed that. All over. In Bristol, Avon and Somerset. Bristol, Avon and Somerset. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what I do though. I record, um, I record government sites, I record police stations, places like that. And I sort of see, see what the reaction is, uh, see if there's a positive what is what I aim for. I don't, I don't try and push anything. Although 
I do try and try and educate, give give a bit of information myself, but see if I can give get a bit of information yeah. back, and see if what I can find out about certain sites and things like that. Just, but you know, like you were reluctant for me to film you, for example. I, I was. I'm just saying that there's a, there's GDPR for an, or somebody who's part of an organisation, so I can request a copy. I can't help noticing you're filming people coming and going in and out of the sites. Oh no, I wasn't doing that. It was off. It was off. I know, but the, you know, people's initial reaction is a bit shocked. Oh, what's going on here? Why is he filming this? And it, it creates a reaction, doesn't it? So, I mean, yeah, I know people don't like their vehicles being recorded and things like that, but I, I don't do that anyway. I mean, if I get if I get them on camera, I get them on camera, but I don't aim to go and do that. But you can understand that, like, so. from the let's say the police point of view or the anti-terrorism point of view, why would you want to know? or have a record of who works at a government site. But you, you can see how it could... Explain. Honestly, I haven't, been, I haven't been recording any of the personal vehicles. I literally recorded it when they had that, that Land Rover on the back of there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the sort of wrecked looking Land Rover, and was, anything else that I saw was interesting. That's all. Well, I think it's just something to be aware of. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Sorry? I'm not, I'm not auditing Britain, but you're all along the right lines. I am an auditor, yeah. Oh, thanks for that, cheers. And yourself, mate. All right. Yeah, let's get in the shade. Get a cup of tea or something. Take care, mate. See you later. Uh, he's off. So uh, I thought they were going to call the uh, CNC. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no CNC about really. I don't think they're coming out anyway. So we're going to see if we can cross over this busy road here. Um, see if we can wait oh, on this side. Just trying to cross over. I am. Ooh. Crossover. Got another helicopter coming over, so that, this is a busy site, man. I'm seeing if I can wait for the nuclear police. So they're supposed to come down. I thought they were anyway. Um, yeah, once again, we're going to pause the recording and pick it back up, guys. That's cool. Why is that? Why is that? Oxobiotica. That's interesting. That's the main bit over there. Yeah. And fly, okay, bringing it back down, guys. There we go, bring it back down. Let's just see where we are. Let's just drop it. There it is. Bring it back down. See, there's the main site over there. Though. Oh shit! Landing. Right guys, I think that's about it. Can't see any Ah uh, well. There look. There's the van. 
Got a motor home as well. He's going out, look. He's stopping everyone coming here. Just thought I'd say you're kind of obstructing the road. That's all I wanted to say. Don't obstruct the road. Oh. That guy nuke police. Yeah, there's no nuke police about. Right, I'm just gonna walk out this, off this way now, guys. Got what we want here, we've got a bit of drone. Bit of the drone action at uh, Cullum. Head back to, uh, they've got a little restaurant at Hartwell. So I'm gonna charge up the camera in, in the car. Have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a film down, down Harwell. I just want to check with Harwell where the SOCAP boundary is. Um, just so we can know, just so we know. Right, it's nearly five o'clock already. Right. Been here ages, man. Ages. Literally. So, cyclists coming through. Step out of the way just to let him pass. We're going to head back this way. Back towards Callum Station. So the news come in. Got a few private residences here as well, as you can see. I don't know whether they're following me or not. Just want to double check they're not. So yeah, guys, we're going to End it off here. Uh, we're going to walk down towards Kellum Station and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit.